Hi there, my name is Waldo and I am taking over for a bit since Andy is still busy setting up his studio in the new house. Algala recently announced their upcoming update for the Stream Deck software, version 5.3, with improvements for the OBS Studio integration. There isn't any work yet on a release date, so it might be out when you're watching this video, or it might not, but I've taken a look at the beta and these are my five favorite new OBS actions for the Stream Deck. First up, we got the ability to change the transition you're using with the press of a button. So, if you have multiple stringer transi transitions, for example, you can easily switch between them. However, uh, this won't work if you have a plugin in OBS, for example, that overrides the transitions, like the transition table plugin by Excelro. Because those overrides, like the name implies, override the default transition that is used. But if you have a fairly simple set scene setup, this can be an easy way to easily switch between the transitions that you're using when you are going to switch to another scene. The next one is really straightforward. It's just the ability to take a screenshot of your current scene with the press of a button. Technically, this was already possible by setting up hotkeys, uh, but having a simple self-explanatory action is always way better as it is way more discoverable for new people that haven't been able, that haven't used the uh, OBS that extensive before or are new to the Stream Deck. So if you want to quickly take a screenshot of your stream, now you can do so. All right, I might be a little bit cheating here because I'm actually talking about two new actions. Uh, toggle Studio Mode and Preview to Program. With these two actions, you can now set up a, a button that will take you into Studio Mode and thus you can set up your next scene. And uh, you can make sure everything is correct and as soon as you're done, you can use the Preview to Program action to make that scene that you were currently previewing the scene that you send out to your stream. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned Pro. Are you tired of listening to the same royalty-free music? Well, Owned Pro have got your back. They've recently just partnered with Epidemic Sound. So with their Plus membership, you will actually get access to a huge library of music and sounds that are all completely royalty-free. And what's better, you can save yourself a huge 50% off your membership using offer code ANDY50PRO. All the links are in the description and they go a huge way to supporting the channel. Thank you, Owned Pro, for sponsoring this portion of the video. For the number two spot, we got a single action that can do a plethora of things. I'm talking about the media source control action. This action allows you to control your media source in OBS. You can toggle between play stop, play pause and play restart. But you can also use this action to just stop the media playback without the ability to toggle between states. And just like the screenshot action, this was already technically possible with hotkeys, but now we got dedicated actions. And finally, we got one of the most requested OBS related features for the Stream Deck. The ability to toggle filters on and off. This was one of the features that was holding back the Stream Deck to be a powerhouse um, like making a lot of those fancy effect work, like we do make them for stream up. Think the um, GTA wasted effect. Those effects are really reliant on the toggling of filters and not switching to dedicated scenes or showing sources what the uh, stream, deck, stream deck already was capable of. So now we can finally start to make this effect possible with just the Stream Deck alone. 
It's not that it wasn't possible before the Stream Deck, because there were a lot of, of these features that we've already mentioned before in this video, that were possible with third-party plugins, especially the ones from Bar Raider. They already had some uh, phenomenal uh, plugins for the Stream Deck that allowed you to do some of these things. Uh, so be sure to check out their plugins if you want to get more out of your Stream Deck. But if you want to see more videos about the Stream Deck or maybe the plugins from Bar Raider, let me know in the comments down below and maybe I will make a video for you. So, those are my top 5 favorite new OBS actions for the upcoming version 5.3 of the Stream Deck software. If you liked the video, be sure to smash that like button. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can do so by uh, joining Andy's Patreon or joining the YouTube members, like these fantastic people over here. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash friends, where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Have a good one and I'll see you later.